Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, snipping up the Madden cheese as always. Got another top five video for you today. I haven't put out a top five run plays video yet, uh, at least not since the beginning of the year. I think I might have put one out earlier in the year, but this is going to be uh, the, the updated version. These are the top five run plays that I'm using right now. So, like I said, top five. If you want to see more top five videos, let me know in the comment section with the like button. I'll do that next. I'll try to put some links in the description for some of the top five videos that I put out so far, like top five pass plays, top five defenses, blitzes, stuff like that. Try to have links in the description if you want to check those out if you didn't see those videos. Other than that, let's get right into it. It's called a sweep. It's the same one that's in the Patriots. It's really effective. The fullback inside, one of my personal favorites. This one here, the fullback inside, it's essentially, uh, you know, this play here is obviously a sweep. You're running off tackle. This play right here can definitely be one of the more explosive ones in the series. As you can see right here on the very first play, I take, I'm take. i probably going to take it to the house unless this guy catches me. Uh, but you can see, this is a very effective run. I mean, it's it's the blocking usually sets up pretty darn good. So to me, this is definitely the best play as far as uh, a, a traditional run. Uh, but the fullback inside to me is, is definitely the best inside run. And a lot of times you'll find yourself taking it outside just like I did on that other play. As you can see, I'm basically house calling on both sides although I don't know how that safety caught up but you can see explosive plays all over the field as far as the reads go I mean the blocking sets up so well I don't think you necessarily have to make too many reads you can see here once again I mean we're just right on that blockers uh, which is not a fullback it's just a regular running back we're just right on his butt I almost get another touchdown as you can see, I mean, this is just explosive left or right. Now, the quick toss a couple years back was an overpowered play. It's not very good anymore, in my opinion. Unless you have pin and pull guru, uh, then it's a good play once again. Toss plays without pin and pull guru don't really work out too good. But if you have it, it's still a pretty good play. So I'm going to set my audibles. I'm going to go to my put quick toss there. And then the last play that I think is, is an overpowered play is the counter weak. So like I said, if you have pin and pull guru, this is still a pretty good play. If you don't, I mean, it can still have success, as you can see right here. Uh, I'm actually, it looks like I'm probably going to hit a home run on the first play if I get this guy off me. It still has success. I feel like they might have toned down some of the X factors, uh, some of the requirements for these plays to work. Uh, but earlier in the year, you could really tell that that these toss plays just didn't work unless you had pin and pull guru. That, that's kind of how it felt. But at the moment, I'm having some success. In game, I don't think you're going to have as much success uh, as I've had with some of these other plays. Uh, but it's still, like I said, still a good play. It's just, it's it's much better if you have pin and pull guru. That's basically the easiest way that I can say that. The halfback counter is something that if you see a gap on the left side in any capacity, it's going to be better to go that way. The the, the, the half tackle, like I said, the half tackle is a lot like a stretch. In a play like this, I could probably stretch it outside and get uh, get outside those blockers. But the counter week's just going to be that much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. Like I said, there's an easy read for counter plays. I'm going to go to the replay to show that. As you can see, we're home running to the other side now. Because I have Jadavion Clowney chasing me. That's two home runs on four carries. Like I said, this is a very good formation still. So I just want to go to the replay real quick to show... Um, you know, there's one real read you have to make to make this play successful. It's really simple. You just have to watch one player, and that's typically this edge defender. Unless somebody comes in free, somebody misses the block and blows the play up, you're really just watching this one guy. And he's going to do one of two things. There really only seems to be two animations that EA has for this particular player, and that's either read and react or attack. Now, here he's in what looks like a read and react, where he's basically just going to stop and wait to get blocked. And when they do that, all you have to do is take it outside. You can see it's exactly what I do. The second I see the ball hike, I'm just staring at this guy. And the second I see him stop right there, I know exactly where the play is going to go. And that's going to be outside and wide. Now, if he crashes down, you can't go outside. If he's aggressive and he comes forward, you can't go outside or else he's going to shed, he's going to tackle you. If he comes forward, you basically just have to wait for this blocker to kick him out and then go inside. I'll get a look like that and then I'll show you that again. Like I said, it's a real simple read. It's it's only it's the only read you need to make immediately. Right here, once again, he stops. I just take it outside. The second he gets enveloped by that blocker, I just take it outside. It's an easy run. I want to get the look where he comes forward, though. Go ahead and we'll do this one more time. Hopefully, I get that aggressive look. There it is. You can see right there. That was the aggressive look. I just have to go inside, make a little bit of a juke, and it looks like we're hitting another home run. So, like I said, I mean, this is a very explosive power power run formation. Like I said, a lot of people make this mistake when they run these counter plays where they think they have to go outside all the time. If I go outside right there, what do you think is going to happen? That's exactly what I'm telling you. I run counters all the time. 
this is going to be a tackle for a five yard loss. If I try to bust this outside, that's why you have to watch this guy. The second he comes down, he's just setting himself up to get wiped out on what's essentially like a trap block. This pulling block takes him out. And then, like I said, you have a hole here. You're always gonna have a hole here. Uh, the double south is in like a ton of playbooks, but the doubles north is hard to find. Uh, some of the some of the run plays I'm gonna show you today are not in any other playbook. And that includes the one I'm gonna show you first, which is the halfback pitch. Uh, one of which is a trick play, and that's the jet sweep. Now, this play should look a little familiar. Uh, it's very similar to a play that was out of the gun tight a couple years ago that was destroying Madden. Uh, that play, the only difference between that and this is this receiver here was right next to the tight end. I mean, that's really the only difference. Uh, you know, that play, they patched that with a quickness. Uh, and it's still, you know, you can't even, like I said, you, that, that play I think is gone. This play here you can't even find anywhere except for in the West Coast, which means it's not even available in custom. Uh, but there's really no need for adjustments. You can run this play just like this, and it's going to be very strong. You can see right here, uh, we're having success right off the bat. Not really much that I did right there other than just run the play. And you can see I got about 15, 20 yards. Now, if there is an adjustment that I would make, as long as my opponent's not running a man coverage, you can motion this guy across. Motion snap him and give yourself another blocker. Now I got another another lead blocker out here, and you can see the results pretty similar. But a lot of times that lead blocker can really come in handy. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, I'm surprised I haven't hit any home runs yet because ultimately this is a home run play. So we're just going to go ahead and run it one more time in the, in the hopes that the blocking sets up the way it should. Sure looks like it is. As you can see right here, this is just leading me to daylight. And I didn't quite have the speed to get going, but that's that's easy touchdowns all game. So like I said, easiest way to do this, if it's a man coverage, leave it alone. Just run it. If it's a zone coverage, motion this guy across. Because if it's a zone coverage, you'll get a blocking advantage. If it's a man coverage, you will not. Uh, the motion block is up to you. You can do that either way, however you want. Uh, but you can see, I mean, the consistency of this play as we finally break what should be a touchdown. Um, it's just, it's just overpowered and over and completely consistent. But uh, ultimately, this this run play here, this 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 sweep uh, from the slot receiver, that's going to be best if you could, if you look to the right and there's no uh, there's nobody in the gap between Kittle and Samuel. That's going to be when it's best time to run this. So let's just go ahead, like right here. This is a pretty decent time uh, to hit him with this outside run. Sometimes you just got to take it a little bit wide because you know sometimes that defensive end can linger on the tight end. But ultimately, like I said, right here, this is perfect. They're trying to hit you with a blitz. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing on that side. Um, I don't want to spring it, stretch it out this much. Uh, I'd like to take it up shorter, uh, up the alley there. Because to me, the quicker that you turn up, the less time that it takes for the sideline to become a problem. You can see right here. I mean, that once the sideline becomes an issue, the sideline won't miss a tackle. There's, these two plays are very similar, but there's a very big difference. So the first play that I'm going to pick is going to be the jet touch pass. So this play, like I said, I mean, there's a lot of jet sweeps in the game, but to me, a lot of them really aren't that great. I mean, for the most part, they just kind of, you, like, you can kind of go get around the defense and run for like 10 yards, but this one's different. This one's very different because you have the fullback there. Well, it's really a halfback, but he acts as a fullback. You actually have a lead blocker who will seal the edge, which is something that I don't typically see. You know what I mean? As I don't, and that's the first one isn't necessarily that, that great, but you can see I got like five, six yards there. But you don't typically see this. You don't typically see this play. They added a lot of plays like this, but you don't typically have that blocker. So that blocker really helps to spring you another 10 yards or more. As you're going to see, the Ravens are a perfect team for this type of offense, even though this isn't even in their playbook, because you got I got speed all over the place between this guy, one of the fastest receivers, and one of the fastest quarterbacks. And it's going to play out a lot like this. You're going to see how this play, um, you know, like I said, it's really explosive. If I can just get outside of here, like I said, look at this, man. This is like, like I said, this reminds me of the Wildcat. Although the next play is going to be even more like the Wildcat. I'm not even sure if this is the most explosive play in this formation. It's just the one I'm showing first because the next one obviously has a lot of similarities. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to hit a couple of jukes here. And then once again, we're off to the races in audibles. The three that I use the most without a doubt, the halfback, zone weak, and the triple option. The way that I'm going to run this play, I'm going to run it between the tackle and the guard, uh, which, you know, ultimately, I mean, I have a gap. You can see I have a gap right where this play goes. I didn't mean to flip the play. I accidentally hit the wrong button. But you can see right here, I have a gap right where I want it, which is going to be in between, uh, you know, the defensive tackle and the defensive end split out wide. So right off the bat, this would be my first read. And I, I see I have a gap. And you can see I have a nice, easy 10-yard, 11-yard carry right there. So that's a very specific setup. You can't run the halfback zone weak against anything. Like right here, I don't really have a gap. They got the cover through safety. If I run it again, it's pretty much going to fail. 
Um, although you can see the way that safety jumped out, it actually worked out. So, you know, like I said, you're really looking for gaps. And then when you get a gap, I mean, look at this, man. I'm just I'm just house calling it. My next read, if I'm first thing I'm doing is I'm looking for that gap. If that gap's not there, I go to my next play, which is the triple option. So right here, I have essentially I'm looking at Olsen. Is he outside of the furthest defensive player in the box? And in this scenario, he is man on with him. So if I run this play, typically he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna face he's gonna block that dude and turn him inside, and then I could pretty much hit this guy right here and just take him around, and now you can see I'm getting another big play. But like I said, I don't have speed. If I had Christian McCaffrey on that, I definitely wouldn't have gone again. Right here, once again, like I said, got that gap. You know, this is you're gonna see this gap the most in four three play or four three defenses. I find that the three fours don't necessarily have that. But I mean, I'm just house calling this man. I mean, this is just so easy. So that's it. That's the video. Uh, if you guys want to see more plays out of the Panthers, like I said, I would love to do it out of the iForm uh, or the iForm H wing or the formation I mentioned earlier. So do me a favor to the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.